Just two hours instead of an hour, but oh well. It's two, two o'clock almost already. So we got two hours to whip this out. <laughs> mm. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is make some patterns. You got any of that tracing paper? Uh, Here's your microphone. What you need is uh, just some measurements, don't you? No. Need to trace these bulkheads. Well, you're gonna cut this foam to width and height, right? Right, I'm not worried about the foam. I gotta get the, the spine made first. Oh, to the top. Yeah, we need to make the spine and then we'll worry about filling in the I had another set of plans. I just cut the get your piece of plywood and uh, I hope that plywood's long right enough. Right here. Well, that ain't it. It's a piece you're going to use for that, wasn't it? Well, I suppose we could. It's barely wide enough. I have another piece over there. Well, you got to be a good eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch less than the fuselage width, whatever that is, right? This piece of wood here is what we're going to build it on right here. So, and this ain't long enough. So it's a little short. I'd rather have a little short than uh, than not wide enough. Look at this piece, if it's longer. Yep, it's a little short. Thirty-seven. And you get thirty-seven and a quarter, thirty-seven and three eighths long. And this piece is thirty-six. It's a half inch short. We just glue a piece on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a <coughs> this is a factory edge, so let's do this. Well, you really don't need the factory edge because you're cutting both edges anyway. I understand, but I want to use a square. Oh, okay, okay. Now you just need to lay out all your yeah bulkheads on there from the nose to tail. I'd leave the tail without anything on. I'd slide it all the way to the front right. and leave this as your add-on. Okay, where's that pencil? Uh, you want a pencil or a pen? Pen's fine. Pencil's over there if you want pencil, but there's an ink pen. So first thing we're gonna do is get a square, or get a center line. Now, instead of measuring, I'm just going to tick this off here right on the plans. Let's 
It's just one on the bottom, I guess. inside mark. Okay. Of course the one I want is all the way in the back. I never pulled that. I set them on that piece of foam there. Yeah, out of the way. We'll use this as the here anyway. Okay, there's the layout. F2. Three. I guess I could just glue these on here. They're not plywood, but they should be all right. Get some CA. Fix it would probably be better. I had some uh, bulkheads made, but not all of them. I, I thought I did more than, than these. Oh, we want... Uh, I guess we could use this little square here. F2 mold, that's this one. Now wait a minute. If I do this, I won't be able to uh, cut it on the, on the uh, saw. So I gotta, I gotta mark them. 
I can't glue anything on until after it's cut. Right. I mean, you could, but... So, that wasn't a good idea. So, F2 top mold will mark it. F3 top mold. I guess I should move the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm taking the mold pieces and measurements and I'm measuring from the center line and making a mark. F2, that's F3, F4 bottom, F4 bottom. And I don't have an F5 made, so we'll just measure. find a regular ruler that I can read. So that's uh, F3, this is F5. So this is uh, Where's that? Where did that ruler go? There it is. Isn't this a center ruler? No. Center finding. Oh, it is only on one side. Seven eighths. Seven. F four is there, so confusing. That's five, F seven. One and seven eighths. Okay. F F eight, F nine is this one. Don't ask me why it jumps around. <laughs> One and three quarters. Sure don't look right. 
F9. It is though, one and three quarters. One and three quarters. Inch and a half. Actually, no. If ten is inch, You know, I'd sure feel more comfortable make making these parts. Well, I don't know. Can't do it. One and three eighths. Can't see. One and five sixteenths. One and five sixteenths. One and five sixteenths. One and five sixteenths. So let's see where we're at here. One, two, yep, that's right. Twelve is, uh, Point. I'm going to cut this big and then after we get it cut and we glue this on I'll sand it after I glue the formers on I'll sand it down to the formers mm -hmm. F13 Three quarters. Three quarters. Okay, let's give her a whirl, Earl. I need your help. Mark. I guess we can just Yeah, after we get it cut, I'll have to sand it to shape.
Which one do you want me to hit on? This one? Right, right there. Does it look straight, symmetrical? Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'll cut it out here. What do you think? This is the inside of your drawings. I cut it, if, it, if this is the inside of your wood, which is what it should be. Well, check my measurements, because I don't want to fuck up. Here. We gotta get that. Helps me put the pen out, huh? Yeah, but gets a little more ink down on it. What you gotta do if this is if this is the insides, so this should be the width of these bulkheads. No, it hangs over, see? No, that's bogus. And so it sits on top of the of the wood. Trust me, that's the way it should be. Well, I should say right over on top of this F10. This they hang over just a little bit so that it ties it all together. That makes sense to me. Let's check it and see if it's close. The only way to check it is to measure measure each and every one of them. That'd be this one. That one measures shaped over an inch and a half. Close enough. Going to this no, one. No, this one? Oh, you're going to go to that one? Well, I was going to go to that one. I don't. That's two. Three thirty seconds. That's a little light. We missed this mark. Shit. It's supposed to be there. Had to re-arc it. It's not an equal arc. I would remeasure this and find out what's wrong here because you got an inch and roughly three quarters. That's right on that line right there. That's not on that line. That's and on what that, is that line. One? What, one, what does that measure? This is F9. It's three. And the heavy half. So it is right. Yeah, yep. it should measure the same from the center line to the line, Does the center it? line to the line, and it is the same on both okay, sides. Okay, so that must have been a mistake, Mark. <laughs> so that's all you got to do is you. Just, 
if it's something looks off here and you're looking down through here and this side looks bigger then measure from the center line to the line and on both sides and see what's off whether the tick mark or the this ruler's got so many damn marks on it inch and, inch and three quarter Yes. <laughs> See that's the center rule. You can take this and put this on the center, and it comes out one and three quarters. One and three quarters. Okay. That's how you use that rule. If you want to see it's, it's a dead center, you got one and thirteen sixteenths. One and thirteen sixteenths. Two inches. This side's a little light. But it says that side, so they're about even. Back down to seven eighths, seven eighths. Okay. <clears throat> this is nine sixteenths, nine sixteenths. Light three eighths, light three eighths. Yeah. What I was going to do is cut it out here, eighth of an inch bigger, glue the things on it, and then sand it on the disc sander down to the bulkhead. Or do you think I'd cut it close? I'd cut it close and sand this first, glue your bulkheads on this, because they should come out flat. If they don't, then just sand the bulkhead away a little bit. I wouldn't have all them bulkheads in my way trying to. Okay. Now this thing has a vacuum port, doesn't it? Yeah. It's on the. No, you can't use it that direction there. I have to. Oh, well, got to plug it in from the back side. Yeah, I have to, or else I can't get the length of it. So now we have the uh, pattern more or less set. Let's see, we got any chatters? Nope, no chatters. So here comes the noise. Sorry, guys, but I got to run the vacuum.
it's hard to know where to cut when we Yeah. Let's have the vacuum pod over, hose over here. I'll just clean it up on the dish sander. Gotta go under the wire. Yeah, got it. Perfect, but it just has to be close. If you're within an eighth of an inch, it's close enough because it'll bow or flex or whatever. So I never made anything like that where it sits over top of that. One. I think they just took the difference in the thickness of the wood. They're using quarter inch for the sides of this or three sixteenths for the size of this. Yep. And then you taper down to eighth inch. So yeah, but they're not showing that it gets sanded out. I mean, that all gets... Well, that's because of the thickness of the wood. You know, you're not cutting this piece off side down. You could have made this with eighth inch, but... Oh, yeah. I don't see why you couldn't have. This is sort of cheating. Get a lot of strength though from that thicker wood in there, but if you come through and hollow it out on the inside, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I think I got this set up to cut blocks whenever. Round and round and round. Okay, I got the uh, the base cut for this buck. Are you cutting these out of plywood? We can cut them out of whatever. Whatever's easiest. Well, the problem with 
See, I cut these out of balsa, and I put CA on them, and then, because all you want to do is sand down and Just touch it. Just barely them. touch it. The biggest thing is, is keep this arc going and not get a flat from bulkhead to bulkhead. Right. You know, it's, if, you, if you're not careful, you can do that. That fits about perfect on there. About, it's perfect. <laughs> now, if I can see a hair difference, it's a red hair. <laughs> oh, that just, we gotta cut you down a point. Uh, what do you I think? I don't know how you want to do this, but you can use one of these. As a square? <laughs> As a square. That'll work. You got any tracing paper? No, I never have had any tracing paper, but I might have. C temp? C temp? Damn shit. Yeah, I'd be close enough. They're not tracing paper, it's vellum. That's three, that's four, four bottom, F3 top, it's mold, F2, that's the mold. And I don't have as many as I thought unless they're in the car. I thought I had all of them. Yeah, this is all I got down here. F3 bottom. So, I gotta have uh, F5 top. And that's F4. F5, we gotta have that one. So I gotta make that one. I guess we'll make them out of light ply. Um, yeah, you'll just have to make them again out of balsa wood. Yeah, no big deal. What I like to have done was to take these pieces and put them in there long enough to make this and then take them all out of there and you can slide your piece of wood in there and just sand it to the piece of foam. But it's a pain in the butt getting these out of there when they're all glued all the way across them, you know. Yeah, it has to be, though. I know, it sort of has to be. So you're just going to have to hand make them. They'll be close enough. I mean, there's no problem. 
you made them once, you didn't have to make them out of balsa wood. But yeah. I'd make them out of plywood for this because you're less apt to sand into the plywood and make it go away than you are balsa wood. Yeah, okay. So let's make an F5. Where's that <sighs> pencil? There it is. Better, but yeah, well, we don't have none, so this will have to suffice. This is F7. I had a hard time finding that stuff in white. I could find it in blue and pink and all different colors, but the white, you can see through it. Right. Or frosted, whatever kind of way you go on. Just gonna take them and glue them onto the plywood and then fill it full of foam and then yeah. So that was F five. This is F seven. F seven. center lines on them. So what I'm doing here is tracing out the uh, bulkhead. We'll cut them out with scissors. You guys saw me do this in my apartment. I did those. Let's do this F5. Let's go back, put the center line on them. John's over there playing his banjo. F7. F9.
F10. The reason why I built the bubble was because of the canopy. But everybody tells me this Razorback flies better than the bubble. I can't see why. Huh? Might have more rear fuselage area because of that. It's the same airplane except for that. And you know how cosmetic things are. They're so easy to add and subtract. But, you know, it can change the way they fly, I guess. You know, you're adding a lot of side area back behind the CG. I think the biggest reason why Billy flies so good is it's 53 ounces. Well, he's not a big guy either. I don't know that. Now him and I are about the same size. To weigh about 140, 150 pounds maybe. Uh, I'm heavier than that, but F11. Well, you're fat, but he isn't. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have how heavy, bad a heavy airplane will yank you around the circles, and it's essential to build them light enough and power them well, but... What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut one, and then trace it out, and you cut these out for me and I'll trace it out. That way I get it rolling faster, F12. <laughs> F14 too. Now that I think about it. We're gonna have to add a piece onto that. Popsicle stick and CA. You can do just about anything you want to with it. probably don't even need it by the time you get it curved that much it's gonna run itself right on out there but it's yeah nice. it's nice to have it in there where is it anyway i don't you can oh, cut there it is piece. yeah it's a big one it's a monster yeah It's a half inch, half, half of a half inch circle. <laughs> okay. first I'm gonna cut all the flats with the knife <sighs> rotten rubber bands Doing! aren't they great and here we're going to have a rubber band that'll squash it. Squash it.
If I double it over, it's gonna squash it. Okay. This was worth the trip, just, just this. This is the coolest. Let's see if the chatters have chatted anything. Nope, nothing. My tight lip today. Yep. Pencil, 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 pencil. There we go. I guess we'll just go along the bottom here. Cut them out. I want to save these so I can make the the uh, balsa ones. Yeah. So I don't have to remake them. All this light in here, and I still wish I had more. No doubt. The next one cut five F seven.
feet. Where is it at? That's nine. Oh, there is an eight. And eleven. Uh, there's not an eight. Which is kind of stupid, eh? Yeah, it doesn't seem right. It's a seven. And an F eight's on the bottom. Yeah, this is nine. Yeah, kind of silly, but whatever. Who am I to judge the master? <laughs> uh, it's in the cockpit area anyway, isn't it? Yeah, pretty close. Sometimes a draftman takes artistic liberty. Sand it down. Like an eighth of an inch too big. Wide wise? Yeah, wide. It's only the pencil line on each side. Must have put the center line in the wrong spot because it ain't even close.
I tried to cut on the outside all the fence lines. It's all right. They're not going to be perfect anyway, but it don't matter. Like you said, the, the uh, wood will give an eighth of an inch. I was hoping to have this framed up for Cleveland. Yeah. But that ain't gonna happen. Cause I know Billy's gonna be there. Building this airplane is like building two airplanes. Yeah. <laughs> Not as straightforward, that's for sure. What's that? It's not a straight square build. That's why nobody builds bear cats and stuff like that. Because that big round fuselage has got to all be jigged, molded, and all that stuff. Nobody wants to go to that trouble when just flat sized and a one by three block on the top sanded to shape and hollowed out a little bit. And <laughs> some people probably don't even hollow them. I've seen airplanes crash that were solid. Yeah. I've seen them built right out of the die stamped wood and never had a single leading edge or trailing edge sanded. <laughs> Just 90 degrees. <laughs> I had a friend of mine that built quite a few of those little uh, scientific slab wing profile planes like that. I don't think he ever took out a piece of sandpaper. Well, I don't have to do grocery shopping today, but I got to do laundry tomorrow. So if tomorrow's going to be a good day to fly, I can't fly all day. Yeah, I have no idea. From what I saw, it was supposed to rain most of the day, three-fourths of the day today, and through Sunday and not clear up until Monday which is a pain. It's not raining right now. Of course, we're inside. As soon as we went outside, it started raining. Yeah. It says sunny, Sandy. Changed, man. It's like global warming. Still 15, 20 percent chance of rain today. Eight mile an hour winds. Yeah, but the minute you get out there, it'll be 80 mile an hour winds.
Okay, four more bulkheads to cut, and then we'll start foaming. Fifteen percent chance of rain, Saturday. Do you have a piece of scrap won by anything? Pine, you know. Yeah, under, look down on that lower, lower shelves. All that wood that got up there at that. <coughs> you mean the all that pine that you bought? Down on that bottom shelf over there. Is... This stuff here? Yeah. I guess we can glue that to the bottom as a spine. Nail it. That's the thinnest stuff you bought over there. I miss that stuff was something like that, wasn't it? Was yeah. It one by two or two by two or two by. Oh wait a minute. There's a three quarter by. Oh, here we go. Three quarter by two. There's a whole bunch of it, but I'm not going to look through all of it for the heaviest piece. We'll just uh, yeah, put all of it right. It should all be together. Yeah, it's all together, but there's a lot of these pieces. I don't want to search for the heaviest. Well, you piece. already took the good piece out. There's only one. Yeah, I mean, oh, I was forty pieces. There was one piece that was worth. I think we weighed it all. It's got the. And there was none that was any good, really. This is a, this is, you could build a house out of this. 11% chance of rain and seven mile an hour winds predicted for Sunday. 63% humidity. People go go early in the morning. Get out before the heat. It's supposed to get up to 85. Okay, let me cut these last four pieces.
I bet Bob McDonald's got the original mold for this. Okay, done making noise for now. What happened to you? Love it. This doesn't look symmetrical. It's 11. Because it's not. Try again.
try again. F11. For as much as it was off, it probably wouldn't matter, but <clears throat> I couldn't sleep at night. Okay, there is the one I just remade. Okay. What is this? This is a little off here, but... F4. F10. It's F3. This is marked F5. Yeah, that's F5. This one right here, this this is F5 here. Okay. What's this one right here? That's yes. F4. There's no F4. Should be. F7, F5, F9. F11. F4 right here. Bottom, that's the bottom. It'd be F4 top. Yeah, I didn't make one. So, whip one up real quick. F4 top, that's right there. And, where's the line? It got it, yeah, there's no line, so it's gotta be right there. It's gotta be the top of the fuselage side. Yeah. There's not one there, but we'll put one there for mold, molding shake. You got any chatters? You guys said anything? Not a single chat. 
Come on, boys, let's get some thumbs up and this and that. How many watchers we got? Check on eyes and look. Didn't even look. We realize this is pretty boring. This is square. But if you're going to make compound molding, do any compound molding, you need to watch this video. I mean, this, I might have to remake this into a uh, voiceover and condense it. whack this off right here so so I got some easy material to work with pretty close uh oh, what happened? What did I just do with it? Yeah, that's, that's a problem with old timers. <laughs> Set something down, forget where it went. Let's uh, straighten this out. I do that shit at work all the time. Continually hunting for tools. I just had it in my hand. <laughs> yeah. It's a little tool belt. They used to get on me all the time because I ran around with a notepad in my hand. CRS. And I said, look, you run it, walk up and down three floors of steps more than one time. It only take it only take once. Okay, this is at four. What are you doing? Drawing them on there and then cutting it a quarter inch or three sixteenths bigger? A little bit. A little bit bigger. That'll save a lot of the sanding. Maybe an eighth inch bigger. That'll save a lot of the sanding. You want me to glue these on now? I 
I'm just cutting them square, but I'm cutting them to the taller side. Right, right, right. And the taller side, I mark about that much taller. Than I think that I think that maybe we ought to glue those on. You know, just go down the row after you get it cut. Glue that on, then glue this on. Yeah. Do the next one. Yeah. yeah. That's sort of how I'm doing it. Okay. So all I gotta do is that. Okay, let's take a look at John's hot wire bench. I've been sanding parts for Spitfire and looking up every so often. That's Michael Miller Millard. <clears throat> How are we doing on batteries, I wonder? Yeah. Believe it or not. It's already ate up one bar on it already. Really? So let's uh, we'll take this over here by the hot wire bench. We can see what he's doing. All right, it's F four and F three and F four. Before we glue them on, we could cut them to shape, couldn't we, on the bottom? Or get them close? Um, Flip it over and... What you can do is you can run it through this and just let this be your guide. And that'll get your side profile. Right. But it won't get any radiuses. That's fine. That'll save a ton of sanding, too. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shoot, that fly got off. You miss him? I was going to drop that piece of rock wood on him. So that's F5. The next one is F7, which is this one. This piece is wide enough, but it's crooked on that side. Well, as I've been checking that, marking a 90 degree corner.
not gonna cut it that big. This is probably, I just don't like to forget where I'm at. That's the length, that's the width. Let's see, we got any more chatters? Nope. We got, uh, we still got microphone. Everybody can hear us okay? <clears throat> Must be able to. How do you know when that thing's square? Doesn't have to be square. The fence. Doesn't have to be square. How do you figure if it was at an angle, you'd be cutting the foam at an angle? No, you cut parallel to that. Hot wire doesn't matter where it's going. I understand that, but you're not getting it. <laughs> Thing that was in there at a square? No, I'm talking about if you had this at an angle and you were cutting parallel to that. I'm cutting parallel to this. Okay, yeah, I see. That so this hot wire don't matter nowhere. All it's doing is cutting a parallel line between here and here. It don't matter. Right. That and I gotta cut the thickness. Where's this one at? What was this? F7? No, that's not F7. F5, yep, it is F7. Big. So, <clears throat> how to fix yeah, it? Yeah, all I need is a height. Does a height work on it? Yeah. Okay. And you can you can fix this. After. I just need a guesstimate. It can't be that. Unless that thing got small, F7. Hmm. Okay, we'll sand it off.
Hard to believe what a pencil line will do. Let's see how close it is now. That's F9. Wait a minute, there's a problem here. I think F5 should have been F7. It don't matter. They're not glued in there, Sparky. They're just sitting in I there. I know, but you're making them the height. She got to have five. That's seven. It's only getting narrower or shorter as you go towards the back, isn't it? Except until you get to that part to where that... What I'm saying is I think F5 was supposed to be F7, or was it? Let's see here. Yeah, two, three, four. Four, there is no F5, but we made it anyway. We made an F5, which it, is that one. That's not, it's not right. This is F7 here, F6, F7 goes right here. That's F7. <clears throat> F5, F4. So where's F4 go? You don't have an F5. You got an F6, there's, which is the dashboard. There's no F4 and no F5. F5 on the bottom only. <clears throat> what happened to that one? I just... <sighs> oh, shit. This is, F, this is, this is wrong. F4 is wrong. Where, what happened to F5? I just had it in my hand. F5, okay. F5... Or F7. F7 goes here. And I just cut it too short. Damn. This is F9. Okay. See, there's a problem. F7. F7 goes here. I got to remake this now because I just made it smaller, but it goes right there. F7, F5 is right here. There's no F4. That's what it is. So that'll work. F4 is over top of F5. That's what you did for that. Yeah, but there's no F4. F5 goes right there. Which is really F6, which is this bulkhead right here. I got to remake F7 because I just took, sanded it off to make it narrower. This one here can go. This piece goes in here. Yes. Okay, that'll still work. Let me, let me cut another one of these. That's F5 over there. This one goes a long ways in the next one. Okay. That'll still work. Okay, we're back on track. This is no... And this one goes like this. Should be pretty good on that line right there. Yeah, well, it's a little long, as but... As long as the top is tall enough. Nope. But it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it does matter, because this... This is going to be molded round all the way back to here, and then I'm going to split it so that it can mold the back half. So I need this taller. Where's that bulkhead at on, on, is that this one? This is F9, yes. That's F9. That lines up with this one right here, F9. Yeah. So you're actually starting up in here somewhere. Yeah, F8. So here's what you need to do. You need to glue just a, glue a piece of block on the top of this one to make this extend out into here. Okay. And then you can mold that back half. Well, that's going to be a weird mold. You think? <laughs> because of the Razorback deal. Yep. Oh. 
F4 goes on the bottom, not on the top. And it's a different shape altogether. And I could cut it down for that, but this is F4. No. I don't know, I can't see it. It's a little big on width. Now where's, so we got F10, that's 11, this is 10. Yeah, that mark them, 10. 11, 12, 13. And it goes, it gets glued on back here. 14. Let me remake this, this one. Nine. And this is uh, seven. Seven. Five. There's no four. Creative licensing. <laughs> yeah. 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 F seven. Instead of doing it like normal person, one through five, you know, one through 13, they got to jump around. Definitely creative licensing. For you guys who are thinking about building this build, I'm not saying don't. But let's hope that your skills are up to the challenge. Even the ones that I did weren't this complicated. I did it straightforward. Of course, I did wasn't use, using any plans. It's still a little on the weird side. Now be careful. Check, double check. Here, I just cut this piece. That could be glued on right there. Yeah. That'll get us... After I get it rounded. <coughs> this is further than what... You need. What do you mean? This piece sticks yeah. that way further than what you yeah. need. Yep.
Okay, F7. I stuck the old one in there just to have something to. That's more like it. <laughs> Let's see what we got going here. Sounds fine. We got 10 watchers. Like, subscribe, and share. Super chat, so, so she, you desire. Let me get that camera and we'll put it over here. We're going to move the camera over to the other side because we don't have to worry about sound now. We just have to worry about electricity, which I think we can get right here. down here do you need this I don't need that no okay what the hell did I do stand up There you go. That's what I did. I need to take a little bit off the top of that and I'll clean that off of it. Looks like the wire was chattering there. It's hard. That might have just been. It might have just came on the piece that I got because he gave me some bunch of scraps and stuff. All right, there's that one. Nine. Ten, that's eleven. Not that one. Do we have a nine? You've got nine in it Four, already. Ten. Ten, yeah. So you want to cut from the front on these. I can take a little bit more out of that. Get you down a little closer. Well, this F4 really screwed us up. Yeah, it'll be all right. You don't have an envelope down here, do you? Baggy or something? Mm -hmm. 
probably not, not anything big. Just for those. Uh, yeah, like down under here. Hmm. Oh yeah, baggy. <sighs> Okay. You got F11 over there? Yeah. Okay, don't need that one. I'm gonna run the vacuum, guys, sorry. done with that. Oh, I got to get the floor. glued down in there. I'm starting to want to expand here. You know what I mean? Okay. So let's glue them down.
A little short, but it should be all right. You're expanded right there too, and out of square. What's happened here? This is out of square. a little long. Can you cut any off that? I mean, just the, uh, cut it off the seven side. Just a sliver, I mean, ever so slight. Let's see how we're doing. Any chatters? 13 watchers. Come on guys, ask a question. Do something. Hit the like button. Shit, even if you don't like it, hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> Need a small piece of wood back there. Which is this wood here. This is? Yeah, well, it's wide. This is. That's all right. That'll be fine. I'll hit it with a block. Well, when you go to cut this. How wide? Sixteen? Uh, yeah, just a tad on each tip. make it
I need to line this up on the, pull it back. A second. Okay. My, uh, my fuselage is going to be just a slight bit narrower than his was because we put it, we, I measured that mark and I should have measured it up, but whatever. cheat <laughs> damn thing flipped it out of my hand popsicle stick Hey, mister, where'd you get that airplane? You gotta make it. <laughs> you wouldn't, if you got asked, you wouldn't understand. Okay, where are we at here? 12. That piece will fit in there. High enough for... This one? High enough for 13. Yeah. Good. Let's go to this one, we'll go, this is 11, this will be top, and right there, the width, you don't have to worry about width, I'm going to hot wire that off. Don't worry about a bulkhead on 14, it's so tiny. We'll just hot wire it back and I'll sand it to shape. Okay. What kind of transformer is that? Homemade. What'd you use for a transformer? Mm, 
I bought some from one from Radio Shack when Radio Shack was still around. When they actually knew something? <laughs> How am I doing? I cut that thing a bit too short. I sure did. <laughs> oh well, turn it the other way. Turn it this way and cut it again. Good phone, huh? You know what, we'll go ahead and put that other one, that F14 on. I where did it go, do you, you know? Mm, you're just laying there. It's a little tiny, tiny bitty thing. Mm -hmm. There it is, yeah. I think it might be too wide. Yep, we'll have to, uh... I'll have to take her down. This is way wide too, number 12. Look, it's an eighth inch on this side, and the center line. And just a hair wide there. But look at, check it on the... Yeah, it's all on that side. A little tall, too. Okay.
Sam. That's what a pencil line will do to you. Should be right now and try that. Still big. Still big. big. Both sides. How much? Both sides. Okay. Give me a market. You got a pencil. I got a pencil. Let me, let me mark it. I do a pencil line on both sides. A pen line. Bummer, dude. Got to be right now. Close enough. Eleven. Let's see, we got 15 watchers. Dams to happen. Let's see, that what says, uh, oh wait a minute, here we go. Hey, buenos dias. Dick Mathic, all right, great. Saludos de Mexicano. He's building a Dick Mathis design, half a pinto. Nobler is moving along also a bit back on the back burner but lack of adequate motor well we can fix that up have not built a control line in 40 years but not a day goes by i'm not building something to fly well cool keep That's building good keep building whatever you do keep it on the building i don't i don't mexico What happened? Cut it a little short. It's all right. That one fits in there better than that one does. It's only a pencil. It's a pencil line. Whatever. I'm not going to squabble over a pencil line. Oh, good. 
gotta go all the way back. Where'd that little piece go I just said over here? I don't know, probably <laughs> fleeing off somewhere. I had it sitting over here. Mexico City, Pepe de los Años, El Codones, Mexico, on the frontera. I don't see the little booger. Uh, oh, there it is. Might be a little wide. Don't worry about it. Just to go right on the very. Right on the very end. Goes nope. right there, doesn't he? Nope. He's got a line nope. point. No. Nope. Right there. Remember the thing was short. Yeah. Well, I just lengthened it. Well, this is too big. How much? Sixteenth on each side. Amazing, isn't it? Cut it three too times. Too much grande. Still too big. <laughs> At least we didn't cut it three times. It's too short. <laughs> uh, so we got a new friend from Mexico City. I'm gonna glue it. On. I'm gonna glue it on and finish the last bit with uh, a block because it's so close. But I can't hold it on the sander. But yeah, I'll try it a little bit. Si amigo, yeah, mi canal. <laughs> Now we're going to glue them down first before we hot wire it. I don't think they're going to move. My finger's not going to move. Alright, turn it over. Top. Want to glue it to the board first before we hot wire it? 
No, probably not. Because it wouldn't tilt or anything laying in there like that. Okay. Uh, but we do need to put some tape or something out of the way of the hot wire on there to help keep them from sliding. None back here. Check them, see if it'll. That one moves a little bit. Might not be able to put that one back here. I guess pretty narrow back there. careful with it. <clears throat> it's all freehand. Turn it way up so it moves fast. Oh yeah, it'll move fast. It's turned up pretty high right now. What's that? Turned up pretty high right now. the hot wire man. <laughs> Not really. Okay, you're gonna run it through and trim it off. That was the tail piece. Might have to turn around. You run into this post, you're gonna have to go out and turn it around. Smoke it. I'm going to do this in the parking lot. Stop at AutoZone, get some 36 grit sandpaper <laughs> and a block and be do this, the best thing to do. And do it in the parking lot. You just, don't want to do it in your apartment. Hell no. I did it in my house. You're going to have to turn around again. So just come out at the seam. Okay, we need to turn it over and glue the spine on it. Yep. There's all them pieces in there. They got all be glued. Do what? All them pieces got to be glued in there. The 
is that thing straight? Yep. Well, kind of. Nope. <laughs> nope. Look at that. No matter this way, if it's straight. No, it's, oh, it's got to get glued on like that. Let me go look for another one. I didn't even think about that. I'm sure there's a board in here that is, though. Maybe not, though. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. You might, you might be wishing something there. Yep, right here. It's wider, though. It's three inch. Uh, that's three inch. Let me look for the two inch here. At least we did find a use for this lumber. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what we were going to use it for was this kind of stuff. I can't even use it for a block. No. You know? Oh, that's about as flat as you can get right there. It's pretty good. Do that puppy on there. One by two by 36. $4.18. Marked down to 330 because it weighs about 50 ounces. Yeah, but I don't, what did I pay? For? I, I don't remember what I paid for the whole box. I don't remember either. 17 bucks or something? No, it wasn't 17. 10 bucks? No. I think it was 30. That's all it was worth, though. Wasn't worth 30. <laughs> so I need to cut this. This is one inch. This ain't three quarter or whatever. Need to mark it and slice it off in the bandsaw so this doesn't stick out past the side. I guess it doesn't have to go all the way to the end. No. for you. From what? Nose block. You need nah, a little nah, nose weight. I would, yeah, if you need a nose weight. Not for me, though. I'd rather make it out of two-pound wood and add a stick of lead in it. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna put glue on this. You get one, get the front half of the uh, of the mold. Right in the center. Got it? Right there. Well, gents, this is one Razorback Thunderbolt top block mold. All it needs is sanded. Can you see it? I can see it already. <laughs> hey, what'd you do with my top piece? It goes right here. Uh, it's probably laying over there in that stuff. Yep, oh, right here. F8, F9, F8 goes that way. What I figured I would do is I would make the skin big enough to go around all of this in the back the whole skin then 
I would start my, when I got to here, I would open it up so that these are just standing up like that and mold this around and then do whatever I have to do to get that to get, you know, after it's together. These will just be kind of sticking back here. I, I don't know. They, they're really, they really, that's how they are. They're just up. And then you got a flat piece that you're gluing on the top of all them high points. See, the reason why I wanted to do it all in one piece is how are you going to join this together right in here? I know. You know, from this way to this way. I don't know how the hell they did it. Maybe I'll talk to Bob and see what he, because I know he was a, a big hand in, in doing this business. Um, Hunt. Oh, I think McDonald would have been. I don't think McDonald built a Razorback. Yeah, but he, he's right up there around. He lives right up there close, doesn't he? Detroit? Uh, it's closer to Detroit to Cleveland than it is to Hunt's on the far side of Pennsylvania. I don't know. Bob Bob probably did the foam wings and stuff like that since he's doing that. I don't know. You know that Bob built that wing. I bet on it. <laughs> probably. It is what it is. Okay. Hey. Hey, Marcel. What are they texting you about? I have some three inch by nine inch by 12 inch shipping foam and the mate of a wing from a challenger, two different densities to try. How will that work for cutting sample? We talk to Who is Paul it? Kobe. No. Oh. What's he gonna do? They're coming up Thursday. He's, the, his friends buying my voodoo's, and oh. he might get an engine or two from me. And the guy wanted to, me to show him how it's a hot wire. Oh boy. And I'm like, well, I really don't do this stuff for. A living, you know, I don't just cut hot wire stuff for everybody and I mean I'll show him how it how it's done. It's not rocket science. And I could probably show him basically on that thing over there rather just get than your wire it and rub there. it real fast till it so turns it hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's a jet. But anyway, he's looking to try to So I got everything done today that I wanted to get done. Plus, I got I got the tool. This is the tool right here. <laughs> I'm happy to have this. Yeah, this really come in handy. <clears throat> it will be very beneficial for when I start hollowing this fuselage. Mine didn't made up right at first. So I took a hot air gun and bent the bent the plywood a little bit to get them to. When I glue that plywood up. on there, they'll be fine. Yeah, oh, yeah. They turned out all right, don't you think? Oh yeah. All I gotta do is touch. Wait. Wait. That 64th plywood will stiffen that up quite a bit. You really don't need it. It'll just make it easier to handle. You won't have to worry about breaking it, throwing it around, or in a drawer.
Man, I could, can you see it flying already? Wow. I, pick, I could picture it before you got over here. I didn't even see the plans. Didn't even see the plans, and I can still picture it. You want this? Let me throw it out or whatever, but you can have it. Well, it's, you know what it can get used for. If it's small, we don't need it. If it's big enough to get something out of, I'm not saving it. Unless it's big enough to get something out of. Because the only thing that'll be used for is just that purpose right there. Yeah. The top and bottom block or whatever it may be. Did you save all these that you wanted to save? Well, I'll save this for now. I don't want to get screwed up wrong. with it. What? It's probably wrong. Yeah, because there's no F4 on top here. F4 is here. It would go right there, but there is no F4 there. F5B. You're going to be making one because that's right where that break is for the cow and the no. angle. No, I glue it inside, you know, inside the sheeting around like a one inch wide piece yeah. inside the sheeting. I don't, it doesn't get one of these. Don't you have a bulkhead there to keep fuel or whatever to going back in there? No because it doesn't get cut through the wood. I, I glue two sheets together like this, and when I sand, I sand through the first sheet so then it's backed up by the second sheet. So it just appears to go down in there, but it doesn't really. Okay. It's all an appearance, an illusion. It's all one piece. Sixty ounces, eh? Let's try. A lot of lumber here. I think the thing that killed my first thunderbolts was the use of death paint. <laughs> Look good. Those, all those airplanes were seventy ounces, weren't they? Yeah. Or 70 something? 70. Because I built an S6B Supermarine on this plan form. It's the same airplane, only an S6B, 58 ounces. No pipe, though, it has a muffler on it. There, I think they're a little bit smaller airplane than that. But no, yeah, I built it on this plan form. This wing, this size, this length. This everything, I just changed the top block and the tips. It had a 66 inch wingspan because I made the, I still got it. You made the uh, high aspect ratio wing? More high aspect ratio. Yeah. And uh, the nose was the same length, the tail's the same length as this one. It's this airplane, only as a S6B Supermarine. The, the nose goes down like this, down like the, into a one inch spinner, no, an inch and a quarter. I had the speed guys make me a special spinner. Yeah, it's got a little bit different look to it. Yeah, way more streamlined, because when the engine quit, it didn't go <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, that thing will drop like a rock. It'll slow down. So I built this airplane as an S6B Supermarine and slimmed it down to where it had no, you know, no big opening in the front. And it was okay, I mean. This is more semi-scale stunt. It's cartoon scale. Yeah, it's fan way off scale or whatever you want to call it. But it's got proportions to it similar, you know, instead of a pro stunt numbers where you can't have a wider than two inch fuselage, you know. And right. It's the same thing I did with my Katanas, except I didn't make them as, as rounded as the fuselage should be on them. I made it flat-sided just for ease of construction. You know, I figured, stand back and just look at the profile view of it, and it looks good. 
I mean, that's, that is the profile of the airplane. How many flights did you have on it? Mm, the big one about, I don't know, maybe 15, 20. I bet that was heartbreaking. Oh, yeah. I cried on that one because I spent, I spent a year just researching it and gathering up information. Then I spent another probably five months drawing up drawings and plans and making mock-ups of it. I made three different cardboard mock-ups of it, full size, to see what it looked like because I was trying to get that just that look. I wanted to get that stunt numbers in and tweak them around enough to where it would look like the real thing. It's sort of what Al Raby did. You know, and you change a little bit here. You, the, the, the wing was one percentage ratio, the stabbing elevator was another percentage ratio, the flaps were another percentage ratio, you know, the fuselage was different than anything else, fin and rudder was different too. It just, that's the only way you can do it and, and try to make them look sort of scale. been cutting. <laughs> Here, you don't want to use that fucking like tape. Evidently, this doesn't want to be used either. Now the fun begins. This was the easy part. <laughs> the sanding was the bitch. How big is that? Right there. Yep, wait, wait. These plans will be ruined by the time I'm done with them. Yeah. It's hard to keep them. Yeah, that's cool. Enough. Just need to get downstairs with it. Well, guys, thanks for wasting your day with us. It was an all-dayer again. We might fly tomorrow. We'll be out at the field for a, uh, a live stream if we go. Let me move this stuff here. Uh, please be sure to like subscribe and share these videos help us grow the channel we got 20 likes that's very good so 
Until we see you tomorrow, John says goodbye, but you might see me later tonight. <laughs> yep, I won't be around tonight. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Bye.